Okay, wait, so what you're saying is... Ah, I did it. What you're saying is the master doesn't know how to get to his instrument. That's what I hear. Yeah, I can play it. Oh. It's amazing that I know how to put the... Did you have an assistant? Did you used to have an assistant to open the case? I took lessons for a long time, not how to play the clarinet, man, how to open the fucking case. And I forgot, I only brought one goddamn cleaning swab. God damn. But how many do you normally use? Sometimes ten. It's on the cover of my album, I'll be seeing you. What? This in the background, you'll see like oh. lines hanging. It, it looks like an art thing, but it's really cleaning swabs in the studio. Okay, I have to concentrate now. Don't, don't ask me questions. Now, when were you born? Last, last year. <laughs> right. The turnip truck fleet went by and I fell off. I forget exactly. I was, uh, I was Hatch. Now, what's your name and what are you doing in my house? What's your last name? I think there's a connection somewhere along the line. And, this uh, is the one and only Mort and, Weiss. And the check that you sent me was sufficient that I would come to the house and... Fuck, man, I, fuck, I forgot to put a bandage on my thumb. I always put a bandage. Do you on need one or do you have one? I got. I carry bandages all the time because I'm on a blood thinner and I bleed all the time. Did I tell you about the time I almost bled to death on the subway? No. No, good because it never happened, man. Now, how about this light? Is this too bright for you? I'm not looking at it. Does it does it make me look good in the in the rushes? Well, I can Photoshop a different face in. Oh, I thought that was a foregone conclusion. I mean. Uh, yeah, feel free to ask me questions, man. I, I hate dead air. You know, I, it's really good for my. See, I'm an older guy, and we have to keep ourselves shot. Well, hey, I hate the name bandmates. That can during my 40-year absence from the fucking scene, a lot of stuff came down. Like, you know, my bandmate. You know, let me know when you're gonna film this thing too, because like, you know, I, I'll probably want to look in the camera or something like that. Oh, oh, I'm not filming. I know. Well, that's why I can tell you taking the negative attitude. You know, even though something might develop. Go. Uh huh. Go, 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 go. What should I do with this dirt? Just, 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 uh, the, that just thing like over. That? No, wait. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, that's what that Okay. Now, what was I doing? Yeah, clean up in Studio Bravo. We look at the planet Jupiter. Now, what caliber weapon it is that? It seems to be coming at us at a tremendous rate of speed. I think. Bumpfuck Iowa will be no. Oh God, it was terrible. News at eleven. If it bleeds, it leads. Ah. Yes, uh, they said. You know, I used to do my shit in uh, latrine. They used to call me Flush Lord and the Commodian. Okay, how old are you right now? Right now, I'm seventy-nine years old and holding. And when's the very first time you ever touched a clarinet? I touched one when I was seven or eight. My uncle's. Did he play? Yeah, I mean, it's in fact all the articles I write. The one that tells most about me. Um, I, I, I where would you where I would you find them? For all about jazz, it's called the Mort Report. But if anybody looks it up, you got to go Mort Report, all about jazz, or A. How do you spell J? J J because it's a Mort Report, really. ESPN, and like you'll see some old fart talking about a football, and that's not me. If you hit my thing, you'll see an old fart talking about a clarinet. Give it again. What what's the address on it? If the they're going to look it up. Is more, okay, Google. You know what that means. I've heard of it. Okay, anybody that happens to see this is interested in buying records of, of me, and uh, <laughs> we're not even sure you can play. You yet. know what a record is? You know these are the CDs are going out the fucking window. I remember when they were what? I read seventy-eight RPMs. <laughs> this is man, like we were fighting dinosaurs then. They were wire recorders before tape recorders. Anyway, it's Mort Weiss, the Mort Report, the Mort. Report at you say at or do that little squiggly thing on top all about jazz And it's very important. And I've written 24 articles I'm very well read and it talks about me starting the clarinet with my uncle's clarinet It was a metal clarinet. It was called a Granville and it said Paris on it for Anybody collecting man, I'd give a lot for that now And when I was in the army band we used to play in the snow man like in front of the general's house man for Christmas Fuck man, we were out there Sub-zero weather. Everybody else got to wear gloves. What but year was that? That was the after the flood. That was a year plus two after the flood. Civil War. Uh, that was 1955 at Fort Riley, Kansas. I got to Kansas, by the way, circuitously. I'll use words because I figure the audience is probably pretty hip, but they wouldn't even want to be with it this far. Circuitously through um, from Fort Dix in Germany. Did I ever tell you about the, what I did in, in the war? Uh, 
I guess not. Uh, with the horror and the war. What, that, what, what war? Civil? Uh, uncivil. There's no, there's no such thing as a civil war. Now, it was a civil war. Basic training, Fort Ord, California. Second eight weeks, Fort, Fort Dix, New Jersey. The Fighting 69th. James Cagney did a movie called that. From Fort Dix, New Jersey to Camp Kilmer, New Jersey, which was a debar embarkation center to Brooklyn Navy Yards, a border troop ship, 11 days crossing the ocean. We were going the wrong way the whole fucking time, man. We were supposed to be going to Hawaii. But, you know, that's, that's, that's another story. Okay, we've got the Bremerhaven, Germany, man. We saw signs, and I said, what the hell does that mean there? I was reading German. They had a little handbook, and I looked it up, and it says, you got gum GI. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some weird shit, man. You know, so I reached in my pocket, and a, a Wrigley Spearman, by God, and then I did. And they, they loved me in Germany. Then I ended up in Würzburg, on the Mines River, or was it on the mine in the Würzburg? Well, no, okay, the war was over, but it was still devastated. I played clarinet. They need, my MOS was a bandsman. We learned how to fix bayonets on the, on the, on the other end of the clinic because they were metal. You could, and we used to go on maneuver in a place called Grafenwehr. Do you, know, do you remember that? Yes, that, that's right. Works because we were there to protect everybody against the Red Menace. Yeah. I don't know who that really was, but we were protecting against that man. I kept looking for like Indians, you know, the, well, na sorry, native fucking indigenous people, Americans. I, I, I hope that's not cut out. I have to put this read on. This is a $2,000 instrument made of... This is ebony, very hardwood, and nothing will work without this 25 cent read. <laughs> I can't see. I've got my glasses. Let's see. I'm going to, I've never been on anything with glasses. There's a strange story about these glasses, how they were bought and picked out. A lot of work went into a lot of shopping, but that's another story too. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm visiting my son in Virginia. I've not, heard of him. Not West by God, Virginia. But the real Virginia, I didn't know there were two Virginias. Yes, Virginia, there are two Virginias. Hey, you've never been to Virginia, have I've you? I've never been to Virginia, no. I've never been to Virginia, and I always swore I would, no matter what, man, I would never, ever fucking go to Virginia. So what happens? My only son ends up in fucking Virginia, man. He's due to get out in about 30 days, man. He's doing, <laughs> it was 13 to life. but. He learned what to do when they dropped the soap. No, no, I, I strike that, strike that because I'm trying to be funny. It's not. He learned what not to do when the when the, this is a community. He he was not in the high power section. Little Mikey, I remember he, he they, they allowed him to write a letter once a month. You know, and he didn't know I was allergic to crayons. I mean, it was a fucking drag. When I opened the envelope, man, I brought, it, talk about rash statements. It was insane. I have to put the read on. <laughs> I'm up against the clock here because I'm a little guy. No, no. I'm up against the clock here because we're going out to dinner. I'm up, a guy. I'm up against the clock because I love to get ticked off. I'm up against... Ever hear a TikTok? Okay. Help me, help me. <laughs> now, now, let me ask you something. Did your uncle... Did he, was he serious on the clarinet or was he just dabbling? Well, since he gave me the fucking clarinet... <laughs> oh, did he give that to you? Yeah, well, my dad, but God, I guess he, oh, okay. he, he was a paraplegic and he wrestled him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad didn't say, you know, he didn't save a buck, man. Fuck it. You know, Uncle Morse had, had polio. This was before the vaccine. He walked on crutches. Nice, sweet guy, man. Nice guy, man. Really sweet. He had diabetes. No, no. I, was just, <laughs> I have to get this on. I'll, I'll put a picture of Uncle Morris up in this, in this segment. I, I have one. When he's in a dress or just the regular? <laughs> no, it, was on, it wasn't a weekday, so he was mm, wearing, mm, mm. He was wearing a, a suit. That's W-E-A-K for those of you from uh, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I can hear and see. My God, I am in a small room. There's all kind of flags. What country am I in? A pirate? It's the United Nations. And the, guy with the, the guy's here with a blue helmet here. Going, uh, 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 we fuck you up good, American pig. <laughs> mm. I'm leaving politics out of this, man. I'm not going to say anything about politics other than I've seen a lot of presidents come and go. See, I used to have bugs in their bedroom. The ones I'd love to see coming, man, were the, was the ones that had no use of anything below their fucking belly button. That was something to see. It was in Warm Springs, Georgia. 
I'll never forget the day. This is before Harry dropped the bomb. No, oh, I'm getting political out of this show. Okay. Mm. Harry, by the way, is, where's Harry? What about Harry? You remember that chick in Wall Street? He yeah. said, what about Harry if I go to prison? Hetty Green, the witch of Wall Street. No, uh, Leona Helms, Helmsley. Do you remember that at all, Harry? Now? I do. What I do. What about Harry? Harry. She was in there with that, uh, that, that, that blonde chick that was fucking over the people that made it big. The, the ladies, uh, the cooking show. Oh, uh, uh, Julia Childs? No. Mm -mm. Before? Mm -mm. No, a blonde chick. She's got an empire, man. She's, she's oh, the one that went to jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, she, it'll come to me in an hour. I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. She's got her own line of mm -hmm. crap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can't do this sitting down. What am I looking for? Uh, you dropped something. That little top here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, man. This is a, take this here. And, okay. I'm the key grip. Oh, are you still doing that? You're the best boy, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that a key grip you're doing in your pocket? <laughs> oh, well, that yeah, looks like some good. Shit. That that'll get him ready. Hey, man, uh, that's a good-looking chick down there, man. A little shaves under her armpit, man. That's the chick he's looking at. That's my kind of. Man, that's a bow wow. Man, that chick's a bow wow. Baby. <laughs> well, anyway, it's nice meeting you all. I'm going to get into my artistic mode now. Let me ask you something real quick before mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, this video, once it goes onto the internet, this will be on the internet long after you have left the building. I hope it goes virus. I hope it goes virus. I hope y'all get fucking virus from it. Now, what? Just if you had to say something to the people that are going to watch this 10, 20, 30 years after you're uh, pushing up daisies, what's your, what would your message be to them? Listen to me play here and you'll know. There you go. Good answer. <clears throat> I'm going to be moving. I had to set this on. If you want me to get that out of the way, tell me, tell me what you need. About 20 years in reverse. No, okay. <laughs> what do you need to set that the mm -hmm. horn down? Mm -hmm. See, the reed has to be really a certain position. I could, I stopped being able to see. Actually, when I was playing steamers on uh, California, I, I had to go up against the curtain to see where the fucking reed is. Okay. Yeah. Well read. I'm a well read guy. Yeah. Okay. This thing I'm screwing here, turning, is called a ligature. This is all wood. I don't have any electricity in here. It's what I have in my lungs. Okay, glasses off. Hearing aids are on. I turn my hearing aids down when I play because I really don't want to hear that shit. So I'm, this is, you know, telling you people, uh, I'm looking at an empty mic stand. Hi, man. Hi, dude. Uh, yeah, you know, you got a, you, you kind of weird to build, man. It looks a little hungry. You, you, you know, I'm getting, I've been a bachelor for a while, you know. I'm, a, I'm, a, holy shit. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. What comes after three? Give me just a little, just a touch. You shaved. <laughs> All right. I get nervous in front of these things. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. First song will be Flight of the Bumblebee as a ballad in three quarter time. Charlie's never heard this. Got to warm up. acoustics in here.
nice bass. Hey, if you want, we can move it to the next room. Better acoustics. Try that so you motherfuckers in Czechoslovakia a hundred years from now. Of course, it won't be clarinets. Oh, there won't even be it won't be Czechoslovakia. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> hey, well, I got this fucking thing on. I don't need this. I was starting to dig that style. Shit, man. You know, my, my pubic, public, my, my fans, both of those cats, of course, they're 125 years old now. hands I'd be clapping. Well do it the way you always do, bang those two balls together. <laughs> Man you made me lose it with the half pregnant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
of my head is running from. Yeah. Now, look, I got to ask a layman's question. Was that all you? I mean, was that original just playing? Yeah, I was playing a song, though. You it, go to my head, you go to my Did you head? start it with a song, but then kind of start ad-libbing a little? Uh, yes. Okay, because it was really good. And I was doing some of the call arpeggios, runs up and down, like, you know, a piano player. Yes, down. yeah. Well, based awesome. on the chord structure of what, what I was doing, though. See, I mean, it wasn't just made up. It had to be within a certain chord structure. Understood. Yeah. God damn, I loved it, man. I love. I'm, it. Out of, I'm not really out of shape. You know? uh, maybe well, I, maybe you ought to talk about your sickness. That uh, yeah, you, I was just gonna say. Yeah. I, I hate. I hate people make excuses, man. But this, this is ain't no excuse. This is reality. I was there. <laughs> I saw it all. Well, one. I'm serious. Uh, I'll, I'll, even okay. My son's doing this, man. The, the, you know? Yeah. Let me just give you a brief here. Um, I'm still not back up 100. percent uh, well, just give me what was the what what month was, that was uh, uh, April through May. Was okay, a, so we're in a hospital. So. We're at the end of, of uh, August right now, and in April of 2014, this year, uh, he came down with uh, cellulitis. That's what started the whole thing, which was actually uh, promulgated by some in, you know by some insect bites he got. Fire ants they have out in Texas. That's where he lives. Uh, he was in the throes of a terrible divorce after what 42 years. Yeah. Um, so you can imagine that that weakens the body a little bit, um, uh, understatement. And that cellulitis uh, just about killed him. And that's, that's, that's... Well, the main thing, if I may... Yes, please. I have, I can know, a congestive heart failure. Oh, well, yeah, I was going to say that that actually led to the congestive, yeah. well, the, the discovery of the, the congestive heart yeah, failure. Yeah, it was hard to diagnose, and it was like the right side and left side of my heart wasn't pumping right. And that led to... Tremendous edema, fluid buildup throughout the body. Uh, if you have never, ever seen an uh, edema caused by cellulitis, stop the video, go to, go to uh, Google, and Google pictures of cellulitis. That's what I did before I went out there, and when I got there, his was about as bad as anything I'd seen. His legs were jet black, leaking fluid from everywhere. My scrotum. His balls were the, literally the Is size of, uh, uh, I, would, I was going to say, yeah, like a cantaloupe or something. Uh, yeah. and you know, it, I'm, I'm, I'm actually it. almost tearing up here because I'm picturing you. He, he literally was, we're talking 911 ambulance to the hospital and just about died. Well, wait a minute. Can I uh, please. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's breaking me okay, up to even picture uh, it. So I was at the hospital. I lived near in the, the Grange, Texas, and there's a you know, community hospital, but it was getting worse and worse. 
Turned out that not only I had, they didn't diagnose congestive heart failure, I went to the uh, Seton Medical Center in Austin, Texas, which is a huge medical center. Uh, they, they diagnosed the um, uh, congestive heart failure and an, an angioplasty was called for, which in a, was a kind of a good luck trip because it was going up my coronary arteries. And I, you, know, you were awake when you had these things. One of my coronary arteries was 70% blocked, never showed up in a, on an EKG or an echocardiogram or anything like that. So the, while I was there, they put a stint in it. And I, I watched the whole thing, so I've got a stint. And then I also had um, uh, pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension, I didn't know this, that the, the lungs have a, a separate blood pressure uh, um, than the rest of the body. It turns out almost every uh, working organ has its own blood pressure. I, I've done a lot of studying on this. And um, Mike, uh, uh, my son, I mean, he was out, he stayed with me for two weeks, and then when he left us, when I really got bad, he saw me eating. It took me maybe an hour to eat a sandwich. I could chew up and I couldn't swallow, but it felt like there was, we didn't know what I had at the time. So it was the pressure in my lungs that negated my actual uh, di swallowing and digesting. And Mike, they're kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, it was it was very weird. Very <laughs> well. First of all, the weight loss too. We're talking because uh, I didn't lose weight when you were there. No, but we're cramming a lot in here because yeah. it also should be known that 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 Mort, my dad. Uh, had has always had a, an amazing physical regiment, uh, fitness regiment that he has adhered to. So he has never been a guy sitting around. He doesn't even walk, he doesn't even have TV. Uh, so so all of a sudden he went from some guy that could literally you know walk for how many how many miles were you walking? Well, actual intensive walk was a, a mile a day. But put, we're talking push ups. We're talking sit ups. This yeah, guy's he, he's a fun, he's a fun, I mean look at him. I mean, what did you, you say? How old are you? 80, uh, Eighty. And 80, 80 years old, and 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 he still does this stuff. Hey, for minute, there's a guy somewhere in bum fuck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, now what did you weigh at your lightest? Uh, well, I, well, when you oh wait, wait, strike that. What did you weigh when you got sick? To, to well, begin, I, my weight was going up, and I couldn't figure out why. It was all the fucking water was accumulating. I was up to 168 pounds. When I came out of the hospital, uh, April, April 19th, my weight was 132. So you and can now imagine. I'm maintaining 135 because I have my diuretics the rest of my life. Whoops, God damn. <laughs> Clean up, aisle five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if anybody has an excuse to be maybe a little sidetracked or short-winded, uh, that's a miracle. Well, no, I mean, come on, you're a cancer survivor. Yeah. Uh, you've had some lip issues, and that's I, that. Yeah. You know, he's had. Let's, yeah. print, let's bring it full circle to the clarinet. You saw me. I'm. I don't have buttons and volume controls and switches and pedals. What you hear is coming out of it right from me. Nobody, Hogan, uh, my son, my my stepson-in-law is a world-renowned classical clarinetist. You don't know this, Mike. I didn't tell you this. Not for any reason. I just never <laughs> forgot. He's a drag queen. Yeah. Well, so I've you, suspected. Is that the guy? Is that the camera? Camera. Yeah. camera. <laughs> edit. 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 Lights. He's going to retire at 65. And he says, nobody, anybody that goes over 65 and plays is out of their mind. A nice thing to say to me. Right? Now, and he's world renowned. This guy knows what he's talking about. So, I, I, okay, and this is the excuse part. I'm going to do, I've done 11 albums. You can hit CD Baby or just, you know what? Just Google Mort Weiss. You don't have to do anything. You know, and if I sound like I'm blowing my own bugle, it's my clarinet I'm blowing. <laughs> I came back after a 40-year layoff in 2001, and I told Mike, my son, uh, uh, I'm calling him Mike now because, you know, there might be some people listening. He's usually an asshole. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's going to beat the shit out of me as soon as we're off the air. I'll have to but, edit that out. But, but really, uh, uh, I said... I'm going to make. I'm going to do. I'm going to do, do everything I can to be the world's greatest, best jazz kind of player. I've really made it as far as critical acclaim with the critics, reviewers, the jazz historians, worldwide. Why? Uh, the what I do is very esoteric. If you just heard this, if you're tuning in late, okay. The, the kind of jazz I play is no prisoners. It's real jazz. It's the way it was. Um, my audience is going to be two, three hundred years from now if anybody's left on the, on the planet. You know, and that's what I'm playing for. I make a few dollars a month on downloads and CDs and all that shit. That's in case the IRS is listening. I really make millions, but you know. <laughs> but, but the point being is, I'm not, to where I stopped playing, I stopped playing for two months when I was sick. When I picked up the horn mic, and we've never discussed it, I couldn't play over six minutes. I, three minutes. I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in my mouth. There's muscles in here, it's called the embouchure, okay? And the, the horn would slide out of your mouth. I couldn't even run my uh, on the scales. You see, the clarinet, 
There's holes. <laughs> a saxophone, and believe me, I made any money I made. I used to work Vegas and the whole shot with a rock and roll band and all that in the early 60s. I'd done that whole shot. It was with saxophone. It's so much easier than the kind of uh, a sax you can hit anywhere around this, this any note. And this is called an octave key. It's on a saxophone too, or a register key. If I'm hit, hitting this note right here on a clarinet, which is B flat, if I hit the octave key on a clarinet, it's F, a totally different note. If in a saxophone, if I hit this, it's F, and if I hit this simultaneously, it's still F. And if I hit all the way up here, and it's called the altissimo register, it's still F. Now, when I'm doing this, now I use F. It's for every note. I use that as, 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 a, as a point of reference. When I do this, okay, F, G, B, E, that was three and a half octaves. It's fingered in a different way, and the hole has to be, boom, right smack dab covered, or there's a leak, and it's a squeak. A saxophone, you don't. I'm not taking anything away from sax. All instruments are hard, but the clarinet is recognized by everybody. And if you read any of my write-ups people have written about me, that's the amazing thing of laying off for 40 fucking years and coming back. And I'm proud of it now. I've got one more album left of me, and I'm going to do it sometime early part of next year. I'll probably go back. I, I do all my recording. There's a, 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 a L.A. L.A. Hollywood thing. Uh, my, the engineer I have is Chuck Mitchell. He's great, man. And um, now, do you already know who you're going to be playing with on the next album? I'm really, I've... Uh, I don't mean to lock you in on no, the video. No, 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 it's a very interesting question. Because, you see, when you see people playing with people, I, I've recorded with Joey DeFrancesco, uh, Terry Gibbs, I mean, I can name... Ron Achette. You'll know about. Well, the big thing is the average show doesn't know, man, I, I can come up with money, man, I can record with God. You know what I'm saying? Does people he play? Always, you know, and, and I've done that, man, I'm guilty of it, but afterwards, man, I've worked gigs in clubs because they've called me. They were so impressed with my playing. That's the whole thing. So I was thinking, well, I'm going to really get some heavy. There's a guy named Pat Martino, one of the world's greatest. I've been out in touch with, basically with his manager. He hasn't called me back, okay? If you're listening, no, no. make a call. If you're listening, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I decided, and this is pretty much it, Mike. I, I haven't discussed it with you. Uh, I don't need anybody. Well, you proved that on your last one, didn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't need anybody. That's I, right. I, I, the one he's talking about, I did a free jazz album. Free means extemporaneous. Um, I did a few standards in it, but I put my own touch to it. Free jazz is analogous to William Faulkner's Sound and the Fury, or even more so, James Joyce's Ulysses, where there's 20 pages of non-punctuation, you see? And so I was doing, you know, I, heard, I did a little bit when my I, I growled and, and talked in the horn at the same time. I'm just making this up. You have to know your horn to do that shit. I did. I laid a track like that down on several ones, and you know, you know what's coming. I overdubbed on that track. Nobody's ever done it quite like that one. And it came out fucking beautiful, man. I mean, people were comparing one thing that all the things you are, they were comparing it with Bach. Well, to me, wow. see, the quintessential musicians in this world, if he had to do a Desert Island shot, is Bird, Charlie Parker, and Johann Sebastian Bach. Those motherfuckers, man, wiped out the 12 tone system. And the 12 tones is what all Western music goes by. Orientals have in between the cracks. They have quarter tones, um, eighth tones. I mean, uh, you know, and so does the Middle East. And I dig that shit too. But and, and I digress though because we're up against the clock. I have twelve hundred people out there waiting for my fucking autograph. And you know, uh, all they left. Well, now, what's the what was what's the name of the album we're talking about? A giant step out and back. And if and I just want to throw in, if you're even semi-slightly interested in the clarinet, it's an absolute must-listen to. You've got you to check this out. You can hear it on CD, it, maybe on Amazon. You can, that's right. You can play some, some awesome. tracks on it. It's unbelievable. Uh, let me say this. Um, the, the title, if you know, if, you, if you're stuck with it as far, you know who John Coltrane is. His main killer album that introduced him when he made his transition from straight jazz 
and I hate to say, I hate labels, but we have to as long as we're talking. To free, the album was called A Giant Step, and it was a mother fucker, man. I mean, it was with Tommy Flanagan on piano. The song was so hard. Tommy Flanagan is one of the, was, he's not with us anymore. I hope he's not. I'm a good student. His wife will call me and say, well, where the fuck is that? And you've been holding him hostage. Who we'll give you all the grandkids? <laughs> um, yeah, worked, I've been kicked out of better clubs than this. Um, <laughs> Tommy Flanagan, that Mrs. Truman, the song goes, da, 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 da. Everything I'm doing, there's a different chord change. Da, 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 da. So he got to go, in a chord, you have to, every chord has a scale. So you have to go, da, 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 da. Da, 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 so it's a bitch. You can't start with that. Tommy Flanagan had no idea when he came to the record date that day. <laughs> and he thought Giant Steps was going to be a ballad. Well, it's about one, two, one, two, three, four, boom, 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 da, 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 you can hear him making an attempt, his right hand is like, and he gets to the bridge, the middle part, and he just, his right hand just fucking stops, and he's just playing chords, bling, bling, instead of going, he's going, blong, 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 and the rhythm starts going, bling, 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 and so he's going, doom, 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 because he totally got like, so, many years later, Tommy Flanagan was playing a concert somewhere in New York, and he takes giant steps out, man, and he burns through that motherfucker. Oh, and there's a song written by Tad Dameron, which I recorded on my uh, uh, All Too Soon album, my duo album for on Uh It's called If You Can See Me Now. So, and, and, and so this was so fucking hip. Tommy Flanagan is doing the giant steps, and he's burning through it because he studied it. And he gets to that part where he lay out. And he stops dead and he looks up at the sky and he says, If you could see me now. Wow, wow. Now, I'm getting wow. goosebumps. Yeah, me that too. That was a motherfucker, wow. man. Wow. You know, if there's any ladies listening, I'll say that again. It was a motherfucker, <laughs> man. You know, whatever gets you on. Anyway, I'm great and everything, and, uh, you know, fuck it, man. And I got a few years left, and I'm. And Speak, I mean, speaking of that, what, is there something. I'm on Facebook. I mean, I, I mean if you, come visit me on Facebook. Please. And, and, and by the way, is there something that. And I'm going to let you say it because I don't want to be accused of, of putting it on in here. Is there something coming up that you want to talk about that you uh, no. are are anticipating? No, just no. Something no. very high speed. You mean in my performance? In your life. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. And now it's up to uh, you. Yeah, it's okay. up to well, you. I, I've 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 fa I've fallen in love with a with a woman who I've never oh. seen. Uh, well, you know, guys used to. <laughs> I'm even thinking more high speed. Oh, oh. Fucking on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Although, you're falling over the window is kind of hip. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Right. I, so this will be after. This will lock it in tight. Well, that's yeah. why I'm letting you say. This will lock it in tight, man. I'm going to do a skydive. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do it before or on my 80th birthday, which is April 19, uh, 2040. I'm going to do a sky. I'm going to do a tandem jump. Uh, there's two reasons why. I'm afraid of the landings. I don't want a broken leg or a messed up leg. You know, I got enough owies. And be, second, first of all, you do a static line jump. I think Mike's worked me the first five times. Yeah. Okay. And third of all, when you do a tandem jump, you free fall for 35 to 45 seconds. You reach terminal velocity. God, I hate that word, terminal. Don't say <laughs> terminal around the mold, dude. I implore you. If you have kids, do not say terminal. Say, uh, Mm, pussy. Yeah, that's much better. You reach pussy velocity. At a, okay. How high are you going to, do you know how high I'll probably gonna... smoke a couple of joints. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I've checked out, you're talking altitude, not yes. altitude. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is pretty good shit, man. I'm, uh, you know, what did I snort before? Uh, anyway, they go to 10,000 to 14,000 feet and you, you you reach 120 miles an hour for about 35 to 45 seconds and um, then the, and what's the point why are you doing this well there's many reasons I'm doing it number one is for me man to step out that fucking door so when I'm sitting there with tubes up my ass in some home somewhere I can think back and watch the fucking video that some guys I hope the motherfuckers shoot up us man oh we had a great video man but you know there's nothing we 
the guy crushed and it landed on the fucking thing, man. You got to do it again, Weiss. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, yeah, you owe us money for gas. No, I, I went through all that stuff. Yeah, the, for that, and it says show off, and, and this is not in order to impress my son, because when my son is um, ex-Army Airborne paratrooper, Mike Weiss, uh, former LAPD, man. I'm very proud of that guy. Uh, Thanks, sir. Mike's one of the... One of my true heroes next to me. And that's the way it is. Uh, I really wanted to go back to, um, uh, what was it? How I say brag? It wasn't brag. Uh, Benning. Benning. For his graduation, I wanted. To, I was going to jump. Um, the DZ would have been, I wouldn't have interrupted the ceremony, but I wanted to go, go have a beer or two or some adult beverages with him, like 40 or 50, the night before the graduation. I had just opened a music store of my that's own. That's what I was going to bring up. And my wife at the time, who I still love and I always will love, uh, you know, it's 42, 42 years, man. Um, but uh, she doesn't get my dick hard anymore, and I, and I don't get hers hard anymore either. <laughs> so, um, she, she, her defense and, and, and the divorce was that uh, I, I, I couldn't uh, keep up with her sexual uh, uh, desires. And I finally said, what the fuck did you say? And she says, to be left alone. You know, so that was pretty weird. Anyway, I digress. So that's, why do I jump out of an airplane? Because I'm a crazy motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. And besides, I just want to do it, and it's, a, it's the last frontier for more wives. Now, if it works out good, I do have, Mike doesn't know this, of me playing on the way down. <laughs> now, i got to have Chuck, my engineer from California, he's got to jump too, you know? And the, no, I said, I'm kind of bullshitting about that. I'll, I'll just do it by myself. But anyway, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to nice. do. And I'm, pra I'm hoping to come back to Virginia and have Michael do what he's doing right now, man, take pictures. You know, if me, you know, shitting in my pants, and you know, things, things, a Christmas type of thing. You can make a Christmas card and sell stills. But that's about it. And I'm going to check the clock right now because we have a dinner engagement. Uh, what we're time? we're oh, doing, we're doing good. Oh, we got time for another song. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the horn's cold. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
When I came to loving you, child, you were the best, best thing I ever, ever had in my mind. And then when the dark days, mm -hmm, yeah, they came, baby. They come to everybody. But I knew that your love would get us through. When the dark days when they came, I knew that you'd be true. But when the shit came on down, we were all about to drown. You, you weren't there for me to prove. <laughs> Right on. It's really been fun doing this, and I, I hope this reaches out. And uh, it's th thank you, thank you for watching. Thanks, Mike, for stand by for part two. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Man. I love you very much. Okay.